previously on season one of survival farming we started out with a truck zero dollars and a chainsaw got new equipment and started logging to make money later in the year we managed to make enough money to buy grain and hanging equipment to further expand the farm after a profitable harvest season in the fall we're back again for season two this spring to see if we can expand the farm even more and if you guys enjoy content like this and you want to see more be sure to hit that subscribe button and hey the like button's down there too so may as well give that a little tap anyway let's go make some money well boys we're back on the farm and today is finally the day that we finished harvest well hopefully at least because we got rain on the way so we better get to work anyway in the last video i went and cut all this hay back here got it all raked so we're gonna bail that today as well and then we got the field over at the second property there that we gotta cut so we're gonna get everything over there and hopefully get it all harvested it. Yeah, this field is pretty big. I think we're going to be making a lot of money off it. But with that being said, we still have $75,000 worth of a loan to pay off here in the next three days. And uh, if we don't make some money, it's not going to go good. Not to mention, we're running out of time. Had to grab the gravity wagon because, uh, well, how the heck else are we supposed to transport the grain? All right, let's see if we can make some money. After the tank was full and the first quarter of the field was done, we went to unload. However, with the forecast still predicting rain, we didn't waste any time getting back out there. The crop were looking good and the yields looking even better that would mean a high price at the elevator and more money for us after getting about three quarters of the field finished we topped off the remaining room in the gravity wagon and headed into town after getting to the elevator we got to unloading and made a whopping twenty thousand dollars but we weren't done just yet all right and that is it for this field as far as i'm aware that uh, rain is still a little bit away so we should be okay i'm hoping at least but we'll get this unloaded take the last bit into the elevator and then i am gonna go bail because i would like to get that done too before it rains because once it rains on hay it's not the greatest for it then you got to wait longer for it and the hay is not as good quality and all that so i hope to get that done sooner than later all right this is the last of the soybeans here see how much it's gonna make us all right another four thousand dollars it's not bad all right harvest is finished off here now i did say a couple days ago that i have a neighbor that has a bunch of manure that he doesn't want to use and he said we could spread it on our fields here so i went and bought a manure spreader so if we get a chance in the next couple days we're gonna do that and hopefully put this thing to some use but I want to beat the rain here, so we're going to try bail this up as fast as we can. It shouldn't take too long because we got most of it raked up here we got a couple of the uh rows here raked into three or i guess you could say three rows raked into one and man is that filling up fast i wasn't sure the baler could handle it but it's actually seems to be yeah not bad it's bogging down the tractor just a little bit but that's okay the old 4020 can handle it a prices aren't looking too too bad right now so hopefully we should turn a good profit i'm hoping we can at least make another thirty-five thousand to forty thousand dollars off this hay here that should give us enough to run the farm for a little bit until we make some more money and pay off the loan but worst case scenario we got to sell some equipment which i would prefer not to do but we can always buy equipment back it is what it is i think we might just beat this rain here i'm not seeing any rain clouds right now but it's saying we're supposed to get a good amount here so i'd like to finish sooner than later anyway if we do get a lot i don't know if we're going to be able to make it out in the field to spread manure but we have the uh, trucker there, so we might be able to give it a try. So I'm just cleaning up the last little bits over here. I ended up getting a call for that uh, camper that I have up by my house. There's a guy that wants to come look at it. He's probably going to buy it. So that might actually give us a little extra money. Crap, I'm putting a bail out right on the road. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I think I was right about there being more hay this second cut around here because we are pumping out bales left, right, and center, which I can't complain about. We definitely need the money. Okay, the hay is just about finished here. I just got a text from the guy that's coming to look at the camper. He's on his way, so he should be here sooner than later, hopefully. All right, there we go. That's it. I also did get a text from the uh, used equipment store where I... Uh, kind of buy all my stuff from i guess they're having an auction here so i'm gonna check around the farm here see if there's anything i'm not using that i want to sell like there might be a couple things we'll see all right what do we have in here not a whole heck of a lot a couple bags of seed yeah we'll use those for next year we got this old plow this is the very first plow i bought here it started the farm and i'm thinking you know what i don't use it i don't think yeah i don't think it's worth keeping around so we're gonna take that there i think is there anything else around here the dirt bike i'd like to keep that but I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if I should take that there or if I should keep it. Because I kind of want to keep it, but I don't really use it that much. Not much over here we can really get rid of. I kind of use everything. Um, Is there anything on the side of the shed? Pretty sure there's one thing. Oh, yeah. There's all this over here. Ah, this is what I was looking for. My log winch. This was from a failed logging operation that I tried to do over the winter. And the, pat the tractor that I had just did not work well for it. So I think we're going to get rid of this. This is actually really expensive. So we might actually get a good price for this. I know there's a lot of guys around here that have bigger tractors that would 
would definitely love to have that. I guess we'll grab the 4020 here and get some of that stuff out of there. Load it up onto a trailer and we'll take it on over there either this afternoon or tomorrow. I mean, may as well. Most of this stuff has just been sitting here, but it is looking like we got a lot of bales out of this. So that should be a lot of money. Although if we can, if this rain isn't too bad, that's coming. We're going to try to do some more. We still have some time for it. It's going to be really late. Hey, but we should be okay. That's the hope. At least I was thinking about taking in the fertilizer spreader, but I think we're going to use that uh, next year or we might just get a bigger one. We'll see. It does kind of work well for how many acres we have. So I don't know. We don't really have a place to store all the equipment right now. So the smaller we stay is almost better. There we go. That should be all of it. I'm going to go run up there to the house and grab that camper. So when the guy comes here, he can take a look at it and hopefully he buys it. If not, it's going to the auction and that'll work right there, I think. So since harvest is over here, as well as planting and all that, I want to get some of this stuff folded up and put in the shop. That way the farm is looking a little more organized and it's easier to get stuff in and out of the yard. I forgot we had those two bales there as well. I'll have to make sure to load those up. Combine's all washed up. Let's get this thing put away. There we go. Would you look at that? Now, normally we'd stick the header on this wall over here, but I kind of want to leave this open, especially if I want to use the side door. So it just fits under there, which is perfect. Unfortunately, this cedar does not fold. So it's a little bit of a pain to store, but we can make it work. It does need a wash first though. How much more room we got over here? Yeah, we got a little bit. Just want to be careful I don't smash into anything. The rake is going back here. It doesn't need to be inside, so it's fine over here. The fertilizer spreader, that's already nice and clean, so we'll just stick it in there somewhere. If we have space in the back, this thing's staying outside too, because uh, yeah, I don't think there's no way in heck we're fitting that into the shop. I'd like to build another one still to have a little more cold storage or maybe some warm storage. That'd be nice. Maybe a little heat in there. I'll see what I can do here over the winter. Maybe if we make enough money off of logging, we can get one in the spring. Well, the guy showed up for his camper here. He decided he was going to buy it. So that's 1100 bucks for us. And that brings us up to $46,000. Not too bad. Gravity wagon can be outside too. I don't think unless I've had stuff in that, that's never been in the shed before, so it'll be fine out there. The way it's looking, we might actually be able to fit everything in here pretty good. I guess we'll see. Is this overkill? Absolutely. Do I care? Nope. Yeah, I'd say this is going to work pretty good for the manure spreader because if it rains, the field's going to get really soft and I'd rather have a dually here to deal with all that versus uh, one of the other tractors. I guess worst case scenario, I can always use the Massey because that has the massive floater tires on it, but we'll see how it goes. I'm surprised there's still no rain yet. I thought there would be. Anyway, everything's looking a bit more organized. I'm liking it. Anyway, I think we're going to get this stuff all out to the used equipment store here for that uh, auction coming up. The uh, the truck's squatting just a little bit. Not too bad, though. All right, we are here. And oh, looks like they got some new stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't mind taking a look at some of that. John Deere 4040. Man, this is a sweet tractor. It's on some wider tires. Man, this thing is nice. I would kill to have a tractor like this. It's all cabbed. It's got air conditioning. Wonder what he wants for this rig. No, no, Austin, don't buy anything. Unless the hay bales bring a lot, a lot of money. I don't know if we'll be able to afford this. No, Farmall Turbo 1206 and and I've seen this one here for a while. It's an older case. I wouldn't mind having something like this either, but this goes for a lot of money. I guess there's a bunch of people bringing in stuff over the week here. So I'm going to say stuff will be a lot more packed in here. Anyway, I'm going to go chat with him here real quick and see if we can grab a tractor to take this stuff off of here. All right. He gave me the keys to the 4040. Let's go take this thing for a ride. Man, this tractor is so dang nice. Maybe next year. Maybe next year. This thing's a little big for what we need, but I mean, I can't complain. This would be nice to have around the farm. He said, I could just stick the stuff anywhere, so we'll just stick it right there. I think that log winch should bring a couple thousand. They're not cheap. Wonder if he'd take the Massey back in exchange for this. Probably not. Maybe with a lot of cash on top. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about that. Trade the Massey with a bit of cash on top for this thing. Got a lot of hours though, but it does clean up nice. He told me it was just used to pull a feed wagon, and that is it. So might not be a bad tractor to have. The interior is super nice on it as well. We'll park it right back where it was though. It, it is so tempting just to load it up on my trailer and just take it back to the farm, but eh, oh well. Maybe next time. But I'm going to get back to the farm there. And there's a couple more things I want to do. And I think next we'll be hauling bales and hopefully paying off the loan. But I hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe and goodbye. <laughs>